hi everyone this is hello angel dot design today i'm going to show you how i make this beautiful dress it's very easy to make i'll take you step by step on how you can achieve this the only adjustment that you need when you're making this kind of dress is the front pattern paper so i will show you that when i'm making this dress this is how it look i will just open it for you guys to see so this is how the dress look once you have done making i just only lining the top i did not line in the skirt so it's a beginner friendly tutorial don't forget to subscribe if you haven't if you have any question put it on the comment section if you're just stopping by thank you so much for watching before you exit the video don't forget to subscribe if my tutorial is being helpful thumbs up and let's get started <music> First thing that you have to do, you are going to retrace your front pattern paper. So this is my full front pattern paper. The pattern paper that I make is two to three years. I place it on a different paper and I just retrace it like this. And then you turn it over like this and then you retrace it. So this is the full front pattern paper. The next thing that you have to do from the side seam, I will place my measuring tape. I'm going to measure one and a half inch. So this is my one and a half inches right here. So you're just going to measure just one side, not on this other side, just this side. So what you're going to do, you can either place your ruler and then connect it together or you use your arm hook curve but i will prefer that you use your arm hook curve place your arm hook curve like this from the front neckline just like this you're going to retrace it from the front neckline you retrace it like this just like that once you have done it like that you can also go ahead and curve it out properly you can place it like this and curve it out all over again. Make sure everything is properly done just like this. So this is how the front pattern paper will look once you have retraced it. What you're going to do, take your scissors, you're going to cut it out because we only need this part. We don't need this anymore. You're going to take your scissors and just cut this part out. So go ahead and cut it out. I have cut out my front pattern paper and this is the back pattern paper. So the back pattern paper, you are not making any adjustment. Just place your back pattern paper on fold. When you're cutting the front, you're going to cut two pieces for the lining and two pieces for your male fabric. When you're cutting the back pattern paper, one piece is for the lining, one piece is for the male fabric. Remember to also add your seam allowance. So go ahead and place your pattern paper on your fabric and then cut it out. I have cut out my fabric. This is my male fabric. This is the lining and this is the back of the dress that we are going to make today this is the front you cut two pieces for the lining two pieces for your male fabric like this and this is my skirt the width of my skirt is 43 inch by width the length is 14 and half inch so let's start put the dress together first thing that you have to do you open your may fabric this is the back of my may fabric and you take the front pieces put them together like this make sure both front are facing each other you just put them together and then you take the other pieces put it on top of it like this go ahead and pin the both shoulder seam together once you have done pinning, take it to your sewing machine, stitch the bow shoulder seam. My seam allowance is one centimeter. Then you take your lining, 
make sure both front fabric are facing each other put them together like this both shoulders seam just the same way you did on the main fabric pin them together take it to your sewing machine give it a top stitch my seam allowance is one centimeter so go ahead and top stitch I have stitched the both shoulders seam. This is how it look. I just take it to my ironing board and I press the seam apart. So this is how it look right now. Before we put our lining on top of it, I'm going to make a few adjustments on this side of the neckline. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure inside one inch and then cut it out. You place your measuring tape, you just mark one inch like that and then connect it together and cut it out you do the same thing on this side and you also repeat the same thing on your lining so go ahead and connect the one inch together so i will just connect this one inch together like this and then i will take my scissors and cut it out just like that and then you repeat the same process on this other side and you do the same thing with your lining so go ahead and measure inside one inch and cut it out then we can now put the lining on top of it and top stitch all around so i have placed my lining on top of my mayfab go ahead and pin around the neckline and on this side you just pin it all together to the end you pin it all together to the end so go ahead and pin around the neckline together and take it to your sewing machine and top stitch I have stitched around the neckline. I just turn it inside out, give it a good press. So when you stitch around the neckline, remember to always snip around the curve so that when you iron your dress, it lies pretty nice. So the next thing that we have to do, we are going to stitch the both armhole. What you're going to do, I will just turn my dress like this. You can see the way it is. And then I will just fold it like this. And then I will pick this side of the dress and I will pick the lining at the back then put them together like this and I will first pin the shoulder seam together so I will just go ahead and pin around the armhole all around so go ahead and do the same I have pinned around the armhole. The next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all the way down. My seam allowance is one centimeter. So go ahead and top stitch. I have top stitch. What you're going to do, take your scissor snip around the curve. Once you have done that, turn it inside out. So you open your dress, you just turn it inside out like this. This is how it is right now. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to repeat the same process. Turn your dress like this and then fold this side. Just roll it like this. Pick your May fabric, pick your lining at the bottom, put them together like this. Make sure both shoulders seam are matched. Pin that in place. So you just go ahead and pin around the armhole. Once you have done that, take it to your sewing machine and top stitch. 
my seam allowance is one centimeter i have turned it inside out take it to my ironing board give it a good press the next thing that you have to do you're going to put the both sides seam together you just put them together like this go ahead and pin them together I have pinned the both side seam of the top together. Take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all the way down. My seam allowance is one centimeter. Go ahead and top stitch. I have stitched the both side seam together. This is how it finally look. You can see that this top that we are making is open on the front. So what we are going to do, you can either put a button on the front or snap. That totally depends on you. I will show you that when I'm done putting the skirt on this top that we are making. So once you have done with that, the next thing that you have to do, you take your fabric. This will be your skirt. So what you're going to do, the raw edges on the side, fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter, go ahead and give it a top stitch. And you also come to this other side, fold inside one centimeter, fold it again one centimeter, go ahead and give it a top stitch. Once you have done that, set your sewing machine to the longest stitch. We are going to gather the skirt on this top that we are making. So go ahead and top stitch. I have stitched the longest stitch on the fabric. I just fold it into two like this so that I know the mid part of this fabric. So I place a pin right there and I do the same thing with my top. Make sure you should do the same, put them together so that you know the mid part. What you're going to do, put the both mid part together like this, go ahead and pin that in place and then come to the end of the dress put them together make sure they are matched just go ahead and pin that in place and you do the same thing on this other side So what you're going to do, you are going to gather this side of the fabric on this side of the top. And then you come to this other side, you gather this side of this fabric on this side of the top. So go ahead and do the same. I have gathered my skirt and I just pin it around the top. This is how it look. You can see that I don't have enough fabric. So I just gather it just a little bit. If you have enough fabric, then you have more volume of the skirt. So the next thing that you have to do, take it to your sewing machine, give it a top stitch all the way down. My I have stitched my skirt. This is how it look right now. Once it's done stitching, make sure to remove your gather stitch thread. I have already removed my gather stitch thread. The next thing that you have to do, your lining, when you're stitching your skirt, make sure you don't stitch your line. You're going to separate your lining. So what you're going to do, you're going to fold inside. If you use half an inch to stitch your skirt, on your line, you fold inside half an inch, you're going to use it to cover the raw edges. So the raw edges is not visible, it's hidden. You just go ahead and fold inside half an inch or one centimeter, fold it all around. Once you have done that, take it to your sewing machine. When you're going to stitch this time, you just turn your dress. You're going to stitch at the front of your dress make sure you pin them before you take it to your sewing machine and start stitching so go ahead and stitch that in place i have top stitch around the waistline this is how it finally looks the next thing that we have to do is to stitch our button or snap that totally depends on you you can put two snap on your dress like this 
just like that and also remember you're going to also put two snap on this other side to hold the dress in place if you just put snap here and there is no snap it will not work so this side will be falling so you put two snap here and two snap there so that you can open it and the, the child can put it on easily if you're going to attach a buttonhole so what you're going to do you can place just one button like this it re it looks really cute and then make sure when you're attaching a buttonhole on your dress that you're making make a buttonhole on the front of your dress a buttonhole right here and this inside will be where you're going to stitch your button so you also do the same thing on this side you stitch your buttonhole at the front of your dress so inside here will be where you're going to stitch your button remember to also use your buttonhole foot so for me i'm going to make two buttonhole i will make two buttonhole right here and two buttonhole right here so i'm going to put one here and one there like that so one here and this one on this side so when you're stitching your buttonhole make sure to put your button like this so that your sewing machine determine the length of your button hole so go ahead and stitch your button hole so, so this is the final look of my dress once you stitch your button hole thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't make a comment down below if you have any questions and you all should have a beautiful day Bye.